Well, hello everybody. Stogie Farts here. It's you know I was just thinking it's been a been a while since I've kind of given you a tour of the aquaponics as you can see behind me. So I'm going to take this moment to just kind of show you how the system's doing and uh, how everything's going. All right. So as you can see, everything's growing very very nicely. Everything's green and lush. In this bed here, we have kale, which I obviously I I overplanted. You know when I planted. Uh, this I just kind of threw seeds in there and there's just all kinds of kale Growing in there. You really only need maybe one or two plants. I probably have about 12 so uh, yeah, this bed here. It's all kale and you can see just how big it is I mean, you know my hand is decent size hand, you know, and uh, These leaves are huge. Uh, I think that's all I got going in here. Uh, there's some lettuce you can see growing back there. That's just volunteer stuff that has fallen, fallen from the sky and just kind of planted itself. So uh, I like that. Uh, in this bed here, again, more kale. Didn't need to plant it. Uh, this is my first time ever growing it, so I, I didn't realize how big it is and how hardy it is. This stuff just takes the heat and just keeps on growing, where other things like lettuces uh, don't do so well kale seems to do great. Uh, I have some stevia here. Uh, I had a bunch more stevia plants. Uh, in fact, I ripped out one plant and I uh, threw it over here. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably just going to throw it away. But I kept it in some water just in case a neighbor wants it. But yeah, stevia. I ended up cutting all this stuff down uh, and making an extract out of it. So it's like a sweetener. It's great. And if you want to eat these leaves, uh, they taste like uh, candy. Very nice. Uh, what else do I have in here? I got some strawberries growing in there. Well, strawberry plants. Not, there's no strawberries coming up. Uh, but I don't know why. I think that might be just uh, new, uh, maybe there's just not enough nutrients in the system. Uh, who knows? But uh, I did get strawberries before and they were tasty. And uh, anyway, this is my favorite bed right here, this grow bed, because it has all my jalapeno peppers. And you can see these plants, there's six or seven of them. They are growing nicely. They have lots of jalapenos. I ate one last night and it put me on the toilet for a long, long time. So, uh, very good stuff. Some uh, green onions, which I don't really do anything with, but uh, you can see they're, they're pretty big. Um, this one right here is a, a nice size. So if I ever wanted to, I could just pull that up and cut it up and have some lemon. Uh, that's it for the grow beds. This is the uh, sump tank. That's the overflow from the fish tank. So the waterfall's falling in the fish tank. The fish tank overflows and comes out here. Uh, you can see one of the grow beds is actually draining right now. And uh, it's draining the water out of it. And uh, yeah, that's the little sump tank. Nothing's in there right now. There's no fish or anything, but one of these days I'm thinking about maybe putting some something in there, crawdads or just something that'll live in here. This is the, oh, here's a, check this out, little, little tomato clipping that I got. I just threw it in the water with some fish tank uh, water and look at all the roots on there. So, uh, yeah, this tomato plant I am going to plant uh, way over there, or, oh no, in here. I'm going to plant in here and get some tomatoes. This is my filter that you recently saw me build. It's a uh, gravel filter and it's working out better than I could have ever imagined. You could see down in there is the gravel and this thing works beautifully to keep the water clean. All the water in the system now filters through here. That was a big, big, big thing for me. Uh, a lot of people in aquaponics, especially new guys, um, they read what I would say is misinformation online uh, that says, oh, you don't need a separate filter. You just pump all the water from your tank into your grow beds. Those will filter everything and it'll take care of everything. You won't ever have to worry about anything. Uh, that's simply not true in my experience. These are all going to clog up over time with detritus and fish poo and uneaten food and everything else. You really want to have a filter before it reaches your grow beds, in my opinion. And that's what this thing does. So all the water in my system, everything goes right through here. The rocks and the gravel stop just about everything. And 
then the water that overflows you could see it overflowing right here that's the water that's been filtered that goes to the grow bed so they remain a lot more clean a lot more efficient it's just great for for the plants it's great for the fish and uh, speaking of fish here's the fish tank uh, these guys are getting ready to eat I only got three koi in there but that is plenty because these are gonna get quite big right now it's hard to tell but they're about a foot in size and yeah when it comes to koi you know I've read different things but you want to have at least a minimum of a hundred gallons of water for every koi you know for every normal size koi not super giant koi but there's 300 gallons in here if this is full it would be another hundred gallons between this and everything else so having three koi in that size of a system to me I don't want to push it just this gives them plenty of room to swim plenty of room to move around and not be uh, crowded let me see if they'll eat some food right here I just kind of soaked the, the pellets ahead of time so it's not so hard and they can eat it nicely and they are doing great ever since I put them in this larger tank and I put in that filter that I showed you uh, things have been great when it comes to aquaponics the more filtration you have the better it is so let me give them some more food I like spreading it out so uh, they're not all just fighting for it in one spot and uh, yeah that's it okay so that's it for my quick aquaponics run through if you guys have any questions about aquaponics or if you are an aquaponic person and you have questions about you know why did I do that kind of filter or you know what is my opinion on this that or the other just go ahead and leave me a comment below and uh, I'll answer it as soon as I get to it that's it for now we'll talk to you later